Elephants, powerful, unpredictable, deadly. Considered to be one of the most powerful animals in Africa. But in South Luangwe, one herd is changing everything. Built over an ancient elephant path, Mfue Lodge is renowned for its bountiful mango tree, which attracts very big and unlikely guests. When the lodge was built, people didn't realize that the elephants had no intention of changing course. Every spring, when the fruits ripen, the entire herd lumbers through the reception to gorge themselves on the feast beyond. This year, Nathan, a wildlife cameraman, came to Mfue to film the spectacle. I mean, this was an amazing experience to have these elephants coming through so, so close and almost, to an extent, so trusting. But he had no idea that this would be a year like no other. A show of trust, both incredible and terrifying. A matriarchal elephant with a brand new baby could probably be one of the most dangerous animals in Africa. With a youngster being so vulnerable to predators, she's incredibly protective. So when she brought this brand new baby, two weeks old, up through the reception, we were slightly, slightly concerned. Nathan would normally never get this close to a newborn elephant in the wild and they didn't know how dangerous the protective matriarch really is. You felt very vulnerable with these huge animals. At the same time, we had to be really cautious of not getting into the wrong position. But there's this unbelievable sort of understanding from the elephants that they had encroached on a human area and knew that we were there. A few weeks into the shoot, Wonky Tusk's uncanny trust in humans is confirmed beyond all doubt. I mean, there's never any signs of sort of tension or haste. Wonky Tusk and her family decide to stop in the middle of the lodge and wait while baby Wellington takes a nap. For wild elephants to be so at ease, surrounded by human beings, is almost unheard of. Wow. That has got to be the ultimate safari experience. I've actually been coming for the last three or four years to this particular place, Mafui Lodge. And the reason for doing that is because there is this most wonderful annual spectacle, which is when a family of elephants actually walks through reception to get at these. And it's become almost a sort of an annual spectacle now for people to visit Mafui Lodge to see Wonky Tusk lead her family up the steps through reception. So it's an extraordinary scene, and I can't resist coming here every year to try and get better and better pictures, I hope, of that event. We almost seem to have this mutual trust and respect in the lodge, so it was quite different when we went out into the bush to follow them for the first time. When we went out in the bush, we were uncertain whether it would be the same. So at the beginning, the mothers uh, and, and sisters or aunts would almost hold Welly back, who's like tempted to come and play or investigate as to, you know, what we were or, you know, what we were doing. Out here, Wellington is in grave danger of predation, and the herd must be more protective than ever. But then one day, he just came charging over towards us. And they didn't batter an eyelid, and they just sort of let him come and play with the bumper of the vehicle. The unprecedented trust growing between the herd and the crew offers them a unique window into the life of a newborn baby elephant.
amazing experience for us because I don't think many people actually get the chance to get that close to a wild African elephant, particularly with a baby, you know, in its most vulnerable and playful stages of its life. Nathan has been granted access to a world few people will ever know, and the opportunity to watch this tiny, brave little elephant survive the most perilous time of his life, protected by the elephants that came to dinner.